Hi guys, I'm Ioana from designers.com and in this video I'm going to show you the process of creating one of our signature skulls in Illustrator. So I'm going to open up a new file in Illustrator and place a sketch that I made earlier in it. Sketching on paper is a very important step. It gives you a better idea of what you want the finished product to look like and also provides a great starting point for creating the line art. Now I want to create a brush that I'll use for the inking part. I usually use a three-point brush with a three-point pressure variation so that I'll get that traditional ink brush feel. And then I'm going to zoom in and just start following the contours of my sketch with short strokes, usually going from thin to thick, as that's the easiest way to go about it. I'm also going to use lighter, thinner strokes for the details, such as the creases and the less dominant lines in the face. Now I'm going to speed this part up a bit so that we have our basic shapes and lines in place and then we can start adding shadows and accents and more details to our line art. smaller two-point brush and start filling in some shadows and accents. When adding accents of black, try to keep in mind that striking line art needs black and white, so it's not so much the amount of black you use, but the way it interacts with the white. I like to leave offsets of white next to the outlines so that they can remain visible and there aren't just black blobs everywhere. When doing this, think of the white offsets as reflected light on your object so they're not going to be visible everywhere. Under the eyebrow and where the jawbone meets, meets the cheekbone, for example, we have solid uniform shadows with no reflected light. So let's finish putting on our accents and get started on the fun part, which means coloring and shading. We're a band of vicious pirates a sailing out to sea. When you hear our gentle singing, you'll be sure to turn and flee. Oh, this is just ridiculous. Men, we've got to recover that map. That pirate will be done for when he falls into our trap. We're a club of tune for rovers. We can sing in every clef. We can even hit the high notes. It's just too bad we're tuned down. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea.
Let's go defeat that evil pirate. We know he's sure to lose, because we know just where to fire it. We're thieving balladeers. A gang of cutthroat mugs. To fight us off, you won't need guns. Just jolly good ear plugs. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Crew, let's get to work. Our vocation's a thing we love, a thing we never shirk. We'll fight you in the harbor, we'll battle you on land. When you meet singing pirates, there'll be more than you can stand. Oh, that was a good one. No, it wasn't. Yar, we've completed our line art. So now we're going to have to color it shade it and give it some highlights to make it pop. So what I'm going to do is select the entire uh, line art, go to object, expand appearance, and then object expand. So now we have shapes instead of strokes. Next click merge on the pathfinder and now we have one big shape. Now we go to object path cleanup so that we feel the fill color and I usually don't like to work with the Illustrator 100% black because it usually creates some very weird contrast with colors. So I work with an off black color. Next, I'll add a rectangle of whatever base color I want or whatever color actually under the shape with the line art. And then I'm going to select both of them and click merge again on the pathfinder so that now we have a lot of different shapes from inside the line art then we can manipulate however we want. Next I'm going to separate the line art from the base color on different layers so that it's easier to work with them. So I get inside the group, select the line art with the magic wand, just the black parts, group it together and then ungroup the line art and base color and move the line art to a, a new layer above the base color one. Next I lock the line art and I start selecting with the direct select tool. I start selecting shapes that I want to have a different color in like the eyes and the teeth and these are gonna be our base colors for the shading and highlighting stage that's gonna come next. So now we're going to need another thicker brush to use for our shadows. One of about six points will be fine. I select a darker blue and start filling in the shadows guided by where I put the black lines in place in the first part. This is the first step in making the artwork really stand out. I'll do this for all the other elements and then it's time to add the highlights. The battle will be long but our courage we will prove. We're a pack of scurvy sea dogs. We pity not a dram. We alley roasted garlic. Dancing from the diaphragm. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Less singing, more sailing. When we defeat our wicked foe, his ship he will be bailing. To fight us. You will get a nasty whack and you can disrespect our singing. We will bring you to a crack and a, a pirate, pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. I'm getting so sick of you guys and your rhyming. We're ready to set sail, though the cannons need a priming. Troublesome corsairs, and we've come to steal your treasures. We would shoot you on the downbeat, but we gotta rest my measures. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, so here come the highlights. 
The process is mostly similar with the shading, only now we're going to use lighter colors and fill in the parts with the reflected light as well. You know, just to give it that shiny look. When it comes to highlights, a little goes a long way, so try not to overdo it. Just add them where you feel they're really necessary. Also, I'm using the same brush as I did in the shading part and alternating with the smaller brushes where they're needed. The brass is what for polish and the deck is what for mop! You say you're nasty pirate scheming thieving bad bushwhackers. From what I've seen, I tell you, you're not pirates, you're just slackers. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. We'll surely avoid scurvy if we all eat an orange. And, um... Well? Uh, door hinge? No, no. Guess the song's over then. Guess so. Okay, back to work. Well, gee, I feel a little guilty now. So, as you've noticed, I like to keep my base colors, shading, and highlights on separate layers. And the order usually is base color first, highlights, and then shadows on top because it allows me to put in the highlights without worrying whether or not they'll overlap with the shadows. So putting them on a layer beneath the shadows just makes them look exactly right. So now we're done. We have our skull with the line art, the base color, the shading, and the highlights and it's ready to be used in print, t-shirts, uh, it can be colored in any way you want or it can be just black and white. It can be combined with other elements from other sets like it and mostly the possibilities are infinite, only up to your imagination. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this swashbuckling walkthrough and be sure to check out our products on designius.com. Have a good one and bye bye